Say, can you see? This is a final exam of sorts. Linton High School teacher Dan Carr requires his senior government class know all the words to the Star Spangled Banner and the Pledge of Allegiance. For which it stands. During this last week of school, he takes them outside to test them. Good job, seniors. Then, to celebrate their hard work, he treats them to caramel rolls and coffee. You're welcome. His wife bakes the rolls. Mr. Carr makes the coffee. It's way better than any coffee I've ever had. It's a tradition he started years ago. You're welcome. To say thank you to his students. Thank you for being great kids. This year, it's a little bittersweet. Kind of nice we're going out together. Mr. Carr is retiring at the end of the school year. I love teaching. He's been teaching for 43 years, 41 of them here at Linton High School. Goes up in the Wall of Fame. He's displayed the highlights of the past four decades on this Wall of Fame in his classroom. Everything's a memory. Memories of school trips. They all signed that. Surgeries. I think I had a knee operation that year. And losing bingo cards. I was guaranteed by the cheerleaders that night this was a guaranteed winner. I got the free spot and that was it. So I know it means a lot to him. He enjoys our class a lot and we enjoy his class too. He's very close to us. Carr coaches boys and girls golf and boys basketball. He just gives his all and when you have a coach like that, you're going to win games, and it's fun to play for a guy like that. This past season, he reached 801 career wins as a basketball coach, the most in North Dakota history. Coaching was the reason he became a teacher. When I first started teaching, I was kind of teaching to coach, but that soon changed. He credits the kids for that change. I could have retired 14 years ago, didn't, because we always, we got such great kids. Now it's time to close this chapter of his story. Wish you all the luck in the world. In the sweetest way he knows. In Linton, I'm Jody Kurzman, reporting for your news leader. Thank you. And now it's time to turn our attention to sports, which is brought to you by Gem City Motors. Here's LT. The third inning of the Dickinson against Bismarck baseball game. The Demons were leading three to nothing at the time. Today, they picked it up where they left it off. Top of the third, Bismarck's Tanner grows close. Here he gets Dickinson's Chase Sully to look at strike three to end the frame. The Midgets, though, would get to Tanner in the fourth. It's Jaden Bass taking one down the right field line. It lands fair as Caden Krieg scores, and it's a one-run game. The next batter would tie it. That is Landon Olson. He comes up with an RBI single. Dickinson got one more and won it by the final of four to three, and the Midgets did sweep the day. Across town, legacy hosting Minot High. The scoring started early, and it started off in, uh, for the Magi in this one. It's Kellen Berkey smacking one into center field. An RBI base hit for the catcher. Parker Hahn would come across home plate. And then it is Tyler Collins going to right center field. Morgan Highgard scores. Uh, the uh, rundown between third and home results in another run. But Minot would go on to win this one, throwing a no-hitter, 13-0. Also sweeping the day with a shutout in game two. BSC's baseball season is now over. Williston State beats them today in the Region 13. Back to the high school game it was Hazen taking two from Hart River. Well, the Dickinson softball team is after its seventh straight WDA win, playing legacy today. First scoring of the ball game came off the bat of Bailey Berg in a big way. She makes great contact, sends it over the fence, bringing herself in along with Jenna Decker. Midgets would keep the scoring going a little bit later. It's Emily uh, Saylor uh, scoring uh, one more here as the Midgets win this game by the final of 13 to 4 and sweep the doubleheader 18 to nothing. Elsewhere in softball, Hart River wins twice today, beating Garrison and Ned Rose. Legacy has been breaking a lot of relay records in track and field lately. Jeff Roberts has more. Five Legacy Sabres broke a trio of records last weekend at the Dakota Relays in Sioux Falls. I don't think we really had time to fully process what we've done yet and Maybe it won't be till after season's over till we've really fully grasped what we did. Dylan McLaughlin, Talon Farland, Nathan Mathern, Reese Snow, and Caden Kraft combined to break the state of North Dakota 
and Howard Wood records in the 4x100, 4x200, and 4x400 relays. The times just kept dropping and getting better and better. You kind of get excited at that point. Oh boy, what can these guys do with, in a big meet like that? The initial shot came when three of the five shattered the state's 4x200 record just a week prior, and they did it in the pouring rain. I think it gave us some motivation knowing that we had so much potential and that we could even beat it even further. Going into good conditions like Howard Wood was, then it gave us extra confidence. To understand how the group was able to break these records, you'll need to take it back to before they laced up the spikes. It goes back to their work ethic in the offseason and when they started. They did a lot of training on their own and getting themselves ready for this upcoming season. That offseason work wasn't on synthetic rubber. It was on linoleum tile. What's remarkable to me is these kids are training in hallways. They're not training on a track. It's amazing what they do with the facilities we lack to help them get ready for their sport. This pack of Sabres is at the top of several record books. They've taken plenty of steps to be at this point, but it's between the reps making what they do worthwhile. I mean, I think it's the most important part is to make sure you enjoy what you're doing. Because if you don't enjoy it, then there's no point in doing it in the first place. And these guys make everything that we do that much more fun. The next goal is to participate in the Nike Outdoor Nationals next month in Eugene, Oregon. In Bismarck, for your news leader, I'm Jeff Roberts. In tennis, it was legacy shutting out Jamestown. And in soccer, BHS beats the Sabres.